What is the hybridization in CO2? So hybridization of CO2. So first, what I want to do is I want to draw the structure of CO2, right? So I have here the carbon in the middle and I have two oxygens. And in order for me to complete this, I need to make, again, carbon make four bonds, right? So I'm going to have a double bond on one oxygen and double bond on the other oxygen here. And as you can see, this here is linear, right? I have a linear uh, linear type of uh, type of um, molecule here. If you were to check this on Vesper theory, so again, I have a Vesper diagram here. As you can see, CO2 here would make it linear, right? This example is CO2. I have AX2 here, and it would actually make it SP hybridized. And why do, how do we know that this is SP hybridized? And that's actually our, our answer for this uh, problem as well. If you're not given our Vesper theory, how do we know it's SP hybridized? Well, what we what we have to do first is we have to we have to list basically the number the the types of hybridization first. So most commonly we have sp three, we have sp two, and then we have sp. So in sp three, sp three a good example of sp three here is CH four right CH four is sp three hybridized is going to give us a tetrahedral tetrahedral, tetrahedral shape. sp two is um, SP2 is kind of, um, if I had one double bond um, in SP2, I would get a uh, I get an SP2 hybridization. If I have one double bond here, I'm making it and forming one pi bond, right? In this case, tetrahedral, I have all sigma bonds here. In SP2, let me find an example of SP2 here. Um, SP2 would be something like, uh, like, a, like a bent structure here. So I can say maybe a trigonal planar, for example, the ALBR3 here would be a great example of SP2. ALBR3. This is a trigonal planar. And this here in SP2, I have one pi bond and the rest are, and the rest are, S, are sigma bonds. I have one pi bond here. And in trigonal planar, and in LBR3 here, the lone pair is um, has it contains my pi bond, right? And then finally in SP, I have CO2. This would be a linear shape. I have I'm forming two pi bonds, and the rest are sigma bonds here. So SP here again, I have two double bonds here, right? So this here is this here is one pi bond, and this here is the other pi bond here. So therefore, it's going to be SP hybridized here. So in this case. Uh, let's see, SP hybridized. So it's going to have, the carbon atom has SP hybridization, the O has SP2 hybridization. So, uh, so this is good. Um, so I, this is again, I'm talking about the carbon here. Like this carbon is SP hybridized, but the oxygens here will have SP2 hybridization, right? So this here would be SP hybridized. Um, Carbon here is sp. Oxygens here are sp2 because it's only it only contains one double bond, right? So this the, both oxygens here are sp2 hybridized, but the entire molecule would be sp hybridized. So that's that's a trick here. So this here, these are all separate units here. However, the, however, if I said what is CO2, well I know it's sp sp hybridized here. So this here is the correct solution. So solution is correct. Um, we can also conclude that CO2 is a SP hybridized molecule. It's the molecule due to it due to its linear geometry according to Vesper theory. So the solution here is correct.